Hello, uh, Codismus here, and today I am doing a walkthrough of Tutorial Island. Um, this is a world that I made on my server. Um, a couple of its purposes are, um, well, the purposes of the world is to teach the users on my server about the different plugins that we have installed. And this video is gonna obviously walk through Tutorial Island um, in case people are having trouble getting through it or something like that. But it's also to show how many of the plugins that I created work. So, first of all, we have um, this button here, which is part of my Dungeon Reward plugin, which um, works the way it works is uh, the user presses the button and then it will um, warp them to a different location in this case a uh, di different world too and it will it can also give the user money or take um, away money from the user so it can be a reward or a payment for using the warp um, this was originally created to be at the end of dungeons, so the user would press the button, receive money, and then get teleported out of the dungeon, hence the name Dungeon Reward. So we'll press that, and we are sent to Tutorial Island. Um, okay, just a small little area. Um, it has signs to... Um, guide you through it has um, NPCs from the plugin citizens to um, they talk but most of the descriptions are on the signs so the first thing you come across is a fat loot chest this is a special chest it gives you goodies when you open it this one gives you five coins after looting a chest it will not give you more loot for a specific amount of time this chest can only you can only loot once so we open it and as you can see five coin add it to your account also um, what this shows is um, actually I'll get to that later okay next we come to this door which we try to open but as you can see this door needs a specific key to open it this is part of my plugin chest lock, which I just added um, door support. So I try to open it. This is not the key required to open this door. So if we look over here, some bookcases contain readable messages. Right click this bookcase to read it. Perhaps you'll find useful information in it. So I right click it to read it, and the key to open the door is a feather. Um, this plugin is. IO bookcase which I did not create. Um, I also did not create the citizens um, plugin but as I said this is um, also for users of my server so there's more than just my plugins. Um, so yeah the key to open the door is a feather so conveniently over here we have a shop. Oh we sell feathers. Um, let's see here type slash shop while in a shop for a list of commands. Uh, players may make their own shops to buy and sell items. Okay, so you can type shop and it comes up with the list of commands. Then we can do shop list feather. Now you don't know you don't have to do all of this. This is just kind of show people how it works. But um We'll just buy it, so we can do shop, buy, feather, and we'll buy one of them with the five coins that we got from the previous chest. Okay, so I got a feather, and also um, the shop plugin is um, local shops, which I did not create. It is a very good plugin. So now I can open this door. Alright, on to the next area. Okay, over here. Um, this is also part of my chest lock plugin. Uh, lock your chests. 
take ownership of a chest by punching it while holding nothing. Once you own a chest, you may lock slash unlock it by punching it. Um, this chest can be locked or unlocked by anyone. Unlocked chests can be opened by anyone. You may also lock furnaces and dispensers. Okay, so this I can unlock. Also, anyone else can unlock it. This is done by typing in um, while, you're tar while you're targeting it, and you have to be the owner too. Slash lock never er no that's not right um slash co-owner any this makes um anyone a co-owner you can also put the co-owners to um specific people but this allows everyone on the server to be a co-owner of that chest okay we'll come over here this is a turnstile um, the turnstile is actually the fence block right there. Um, it requires a certain item to open it. Uh, put three raw pork chops in the chest and punch it to open the turnstile. So we punch it, correct item not found. Okay, so. Now then, well, there's some pigs, let's get some pork. So. Um, looking at this, this chest will give you a sword. The type of sword you get is random. There's a percentages. This chest can also only be looted once. Um, another thing with, um, hold on. Let's just turn down the Minecraft volume a bit. Okay. Okay, so, um, another feature of chest lock is by typing, while you're the owner, by typing lock never, um, the targeting, targeted chest will be unlockable. That way no one can open it. See, I can't own it. Well, I already do own it, but someone else can't own it. You can't lock it, unlock it, so it's just like, so no one else can um, take ownership of it. And when I op opened it, um, I got a stone sword, which makes sense because that's 60% that I'll get that. Okay. So over here, this is a turnstile. Press the button to open. There's a button. Some turnstiles charge money to use them. And like that one over there, that charges items. So we press it and the gate opens. We can come in here, get some pork chops, maybe, whoops, there's a pork chop, come on, come on you pigs, there we go, there's two more. Okay, here's another button to open that, and also it closes behind you as you walk through it so more than one person can't go through okay let's open this and we can put the pork chops anywhere in the chest and then punch it item accepted turnstile opened and that closes as we go through let's just get this pig out of here okay um... these are just some other um, features and stuff of my server just go through them real quick. Um, the only one I have here to mention is uh, for my plug-in PvP rewards. Um, it says battles can be fought in various arenas to earn money. So um, I have a plug-in PvP rewards reward that um, you when you fight people. Uh, you basically have a chance to steal money from them. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that for now. Um, okay, next thing here is this is a portcullis. They are used in some cities. Flip the switch to activate it. So there's a switch and it opens. This is um, not my plugin, but it's a um, nice one to have. I 
everyone on my server likes it. Okay, and it looks like we're at the end, so congratulations, you completed Tutorial Island. Um, these chests also cannot be um, uh, locked, so we'll open them up, and this one I get 700 coins, 64 arrows, and 3 bread. Um, also, um, for f um, okay. For this fat loot, all these chests are linked to one fat loot, and um, how it works is there's a collective loot of arrows, so each time I will either receive one arrow, um, which is 20%, I think, 64 arrows, which is 20%, or 10 arrows, which is 60%, and then there's also other various items in individual loots that I could get. That time I only got bread. Uh, this next one will open. Look at all these goodies. I got one arrow. Got a fishing rod, bow, bread, pickaxe, stone axe, boots. And once you loot them, these are all set up to so you can never loot them again. And the last one, got ten arrows. Another bow, some legs, axe, and more bread. Okay, so that's basically um, a walkthrough of Tutorial Island. Here's um, the button to get back. Um, one other thing I'd like to say is um, for um, chest lock. Actually, we'll just go back to the other side here. Okay, we warp back. Let's go to Tutorial Island again. Um, okay. For this chest, um, there's an option for um, chests to lock them with any item. Um, instead of actually putting the name of an item, just put any. That way I can unlock this with any item I'm holding. Instead of just um, have to have have to be holding nothing. Um, let's see here. One other thing. This door. You can also make doors unlockable because if you have this plugin installed and you have permission for um, users to lock doors, then you don't want them locking any door they come across. So to do that, you well to set it to a certain key you type lock and then enter and it will assign like right now I have a feather in my hand so it would assign the uh, a feather to the key um, so to make it so it can't be locked you type in slash lock while holding nothing and then that will make it unlockable um, what this means is you don't need a key you can open it with any item um, you can still lock it again later by typing slash lock with something in your hand so I believe that is all for um, tutorial island um, I hope this helped to explain a couple of my plugins and to help anyone who is having trouble getting through here for some reason. So, that's all. <laughs>